Jess Drew. She uh -huh. rides motorcycle. motorcycle. Oh my gosh, I'm learning so much from her. Oh yeah, I, I've learned a lot of stuff too. I've leveled up my whole thing. See? Oh yeah? Let's see that. Let's go. Thread the needle. Over my heels, falling on my head, but all of my feels were already dead. And Whoa. if I could remind it for you, if you could remind me of Easy. what I felt before. <laughs> and Miguel, the whole thing was his idea. Right. And who's Miguel? Oh, he's like a ninja, vampire, spider man, but a good guy? A vampire good guy. I'd pay good money to see that. So, how long ago did they invite you? Uh, it's only like a few months ago. A month is kind of a long time, isn't it? Okay, this one comes with two. All of my feels were already dead. And if I could rewind it first, if you could rewind it first, what I felt before I felt Look at you. Look at me. Yes. So first thing, I just saw the movie the other day and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because it's moving so fast and there are some scenes that I wish I can slow down. I just want you to state for the record, do you know how many spider people var variants are there in the movie? There's no way to count the spider people. You're numbers. right, it, move, it moves too fast. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know what me? you know, we finished the movie last night. <laughs> <laughs> so we haven't done a full and complete count yet, but it's definitely in the hundreds. Um, yeah, that it's it's so many, uh, but there's only a handful that are you know that are truly like important characters that we're following on an emotional level. But the spectacle of seeing so many different types of people coming from so many different worlds and so many different perspectives and so many different styles of animation and and art uh is is part of the fun do, do you have a favorite uh spider variant um, my favorite is a spider cat i wish they had more screen time for this cat uh, i hated that cat <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah there's so many here's the thing my my current fave right now outside of outside of gwen and miles would probably be spider punk but i feel like i'm gonna discover more as we watch it as again. As I watch it again, and, and that answer might change. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be hard to beat uh, Spider-Punk, because I already love Miles and Gwen, you mm -hmm. know, and, and Peter, so <laughs> Spider-Punk comes through and it's like, whoa! <laughs> but honestly, um, Jessica Drew is pretty fire too now, yeah, you I know? Say. Yeah, so it's, 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 the spider cat though, the, the moment where he like pukes on, it's, it's, uh. Can this day get any weirder? <laughs> I read an interview that uh, some of the conversations you have with studio executives end up in the in the script in in into the Spider Verse. You know, That's like true. you can't do it on command. So are, are studio executives more self aware when they're talking to you because it might end up as a punchline oh, in the movie? Them? Or are they like do they lean in and really say, pitch something in hopes that it'll <laughs> make the like... movie? There's definitely something in this picture that came directly from the studio. Yeah, that's probably a handful of things. I can't remember what it is, and I remember putting something in. Oh, right. he's got his hands on the wall. Are you charging it? Right, right, right. Or, I don't understand. <laughs> that moment came directly from showing, watching the film with uh, 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 someone that we really respect at the studio who was struggling to follow, to what, follow was what was on screen. And so we just wrote down the conversation and put it in the movie. <laughs> also, I think anytime someone I goes, I can't, anytime someone can't understand Hobie, that also comes from direct experience. <laughs> Hi, my name's Obi, Obi Brown. I'm not a role model. I was briefly a runway model. I hate the AM, I hate the PM, I hate labels. How are you even cooler under your mask? I was just cool the whole time. Well, uh, you know, you probably heard of there's a Avengers chat group among the the cast members of the Avengers. So is there a uh, Spider Verse chat group? I didn't hear that there was an Avengers chat group. <laughs> uh, number one, number two. Imagine uh, that. You got Robert Downey Jr., Jeremy Renner, Scarlett, just like uh, how, uh, enjoy your dinner tonight. Uh, you know. Damn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys meet me in London by tomorrow. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. There isn't a there isn't a Spider Verse chat, but but I I'm thinking we're gonna have to start it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Who exactly are you supposed to be? Isn't it obvious? The Blue Panther. That's funny. There's an elite society with all the best Spider people in it. It's a really small strike force. I can turn invisible. There's just I have like electric powers. I'll put in a good word. 
being Spider-Man's a sacrifice. The fate of the multiverse. You say the fate of the multiverse, and my brain dies. Sorry, the only Italian I know is from Mario Kart. Woo! There's a scene uh, where there's Helvet. Are you are you guys fans of Helvetica? Oh, it's a beautiful font. Fonts? It's a beautiful font. It's a sans serif font. We are big uh, uh, serif deniers. <laughs> We're serif truthers. You don't need them. Uh, no, we've. Uh, uh, you may know that Helvetica is an important part of our filmography. All of the um, signage in. Uh, 21 Jump Street is in Helvetica it's font. True. And many of the buildings in the sequel to uh, uh, 22 Jump Street are named after different fonts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're font heads in addition to uh, other nerdy interests. Yes.